a stone's throw away from the town of Komani, where economic activity can be evidently seen through busy commutes, enterprising and inspired labor, lies the village of Magyangya, where water, sanitation and vegetation were once a figment of the community's imagination. Where school learners spend a significant portion of their days in the classroom and playgrounds, their parents used to fear for their nutrition, sending two-litre bottles of water with their children to school. Magyangya Junior School once had no running water or toilets. These days, those water bottles can be seen adorning fresh vegetable gardens, a byproduct of the South African Wind Energy Programme. This is the story of the South African Wind Energy Project, SAWEP, funded by the Global Environment Facility through the United Nations Development Programme in South Africa, in collaboration with the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy as the executing entity and implementing partner, and Senedi. Well, this partnership was truly about broadening collaboration for the purpose of enhancing development results. The finder in this case being a global environmental facility, we call them Jeff. So they are a conduit through which these monies flow from uh, New York uh, to South Africa. And they then are responsible for managing the financial management and disbur disbursement of funds, as well as provide overall oversight on the project. So as part of their due diligence, they need to come and visit um, the projects where they are providing sponsorship on behalf of Jeff to see if indeed uh, what we claim to have done um, is really happening on the ground. The key concept of our engagement is leaving no one behind. There are communities that are in very remote areas, marginalized and far apart from access to income and livelihood opportunities. So the objective of this program is to enable them to have access to clean and re renewable energy that expand opportunities for livelihood for them. This wind pump program has symbolized a new era for the Krisani District Municipality off the back of its historical and present water challenges. Educators, representatives of the municipality, engineers and role players in the Eastern Cape Economic Development Cluster convened at Magyantia Junior School to engage on the technical mind behind the wind pump program and to observe its tangible translation into a school that can now drink clean water enjoy decent loo breaks, and children can be guaranteed at least one nutritious meal prepared from the school's vegetable garden. Now how we came to identify this school, because there are a number of candy schools, but we focused on this one. Um, so one of the reasons, of course, was that there were good wind conditions, as it uh, can be demonstrated today, but also because the school that has been involved, they've been a beneficiary of other projects from the province, like uh, biogas projects and uh, for us that was uh, one of the biggest motivations to say how can you sustain you know that uh, biogas project because we need a lot of water to actually consistently supply the microorganisms that are used. This is a very welcome project especially for rural development uh, for schools to be safe sustainable especially for food production as we know food is getting expensive in our days so this kind of project to give supply in a very dry area Kisari District is a very dry area, so this project is great to the school, to the kids, to the community at large. This project is a because there's this problem of load shedding. So, which generates the kinetic energy, and we have to control Yes. We are inverted to electrical energy, power mines, to our tank. Then there was the air frustration system, partner, abandoned our water, so long as the cellar amounts are clean. Krisali District Municipality implemented a pilot project on a biogas, uh, biogas project, which is more focusing on the rural livelihood and how do we improve the lives of uh, the learners in our rural communities especially uh, your schools uh, that are more vulnerable and that are more uh, needy to as far as nutrition is, is concerned. So the project that we implemented, it's included in the District Municipality's Climate Change Strategy. It's one of the innovative projects that we identified there, which is your Rural Sustainable Villages project. Uh, that project now is being linked 
to this current project, which is a small scale wind water pumping project that is being implemented at Machancha Primary School and uh, Emalasleni local municipality, uh, and another one at Clean Boy uh, Primary, which is uh, uh, under Inokum Kijima local municipality. Uh, the project itself, it, it's uh, more of a uh, provision of uh, potable water to our schools for various purposes. One, it's for human consumption and also for uh, establishment of food uh, gardens where we use uh, water more for irrigation purposes. So there's a lot of uh, also uh, educational uh, related uh, topics that are linked to the project itself. So, so as to improve uh, the school curriculum. As by in Timindo, Sebenza Nakantoana, as in Timindo, say kitchen or Sebenza name servers. So, Okokala, Abandana Babeka, to be season a man's in with two liter bottles because upper man's awake. So, Baga, this is an a man's in Makaya and get two liter bottles, sit in the Abazali to prepare their meals, also to 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 move on a pro program here to Gawash. We do have a program, Gawash. Since Gawba Kwamans again, at least to know go Abazan Bafmana e a relief to Yamans Baba Tatamans and Makaya Bazis. Instead we used as a two liter bottles to to beautify our grounds as you will see when you're outside. For me, it's the international partnerships that have helped, but at the same time, those strategic partnerships with local partners, such as the Economic Development uh, Department in the Eastern Cape, as well as um, other partners, such as the Krisani uh, District Municipality. Having those strategic partners and collaborating with international uh, partners has enabled us to achieve better outcomes for the country as well as for the communities where some of the projects that we are collaborating on uh, were, tar uh, were targeted. The South African Wind Energy Program has responded to a basic human need but has also transcended to the quality of life of learners and educators alike, as can be illustrated by the surge of classroom interaction and productivity around the school. A stone's throw away from Matyanja lies Claimboy Junior Secondary School in Makrimbi in Queenstown. Namshanje ndiziva ndino uvuyu. Kakuzo kunikeze lwa ke project eskuru in setu iklimpoy. E enwe tisayo ebandwa nini. Because ngo kutana siza bane kule le project iza unikeze la ngamanzi. Iza sine tisa because besine challenge kakulu ya manzi apa eskuru in. so that at no we are thinking who something. She might be sick and she. Abanye ba pelela ukuta kulendo ya siskuri. Aliki o ka i call into a vet. Yeah, no tisa ka kululondo leba. Abenendo ba yenza yo. At the same time, no tisa ne school because the school osiya kwa zutengi sa i vet. Si kwa zufumana imani yo kwenza ezine ezine imfuno za school. Similarly, learners can be seen energetically going about their day's tasks whilst teachers, parents, school governing body representatives and community leaders reflect on the significance of the South African Wind Energy Programme on the life of Clingboy Junior School. Usually, as well as projects, but the project is because ability to teach Abandonabetu how Uchongala Mans are As a result, measurements of how much water is that day. Is all a bang a canon, 
even to measure a man's as now club holes and in network of one. That's why she 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 be proud to have this project. And Sister Scholo, she a promise I'll go to will run with it. So some like an island project. And the Banabando Bas Niglia your by bond but we deserve it. Sinabanduana apa Begukat Beskate Sisoko Lamanza Koshel Nins. So can go on the Avia Castesa Fumana, the project here, Manzi, as his opinion is short and a manzi, Kuza, Bamnandi, Bessie Tiamanzi, Apa Kutaya Tandu Pelis, Depin. Can you cross up Negasi or Kamanzi, Imlanjin, Amanzi, Amtaka, Anne and Anne Kimbi, Fumansa Bantana Bapeke Longao, Babe Nessisu. So can go on the Avia Kakulu, see Avia, Sissi Scolo, Singa Baza, Libalapa Eclim Poy. Locals have experienced the positive impact the program has made. Everybody agrees that this is a milestone. Yet, in a sea of infrastructure and developmental challenges in one of the poorest provinces in South Africa, everybody echoes the sentiment that this symbolizes what can still be achieved to provide quality and efficient services to other marginalized communities who still find themselves relegated to the sidelines of basic rights to service delivery. Uh, how I wish um another bank so that because you can see Moya and department of education. In recent times, these vast lands of the upper Blinkwater village in the outskirts of Fort Beaufort, when the sun set, the life of this community would come to an end. Here, electricity was a far-fetched concept. So at first, the project was about solar energy. When we came in, we introduced wind energy. They expanded the capacity of power that is now available for the communities. So with the power now available, besides just lightening the community and providing energy for cooking, people now have enough energy that they can engage in other agricultural and economic activities that can expand their access to income and opportunities. So through this partnership, we've been able to expand opportunities for vulnerable communities. Nowadays, the people of Upper Blinkvata gush at the new life the mini-grid pilot has afforded them, connecting solar energy and wind energy here off the grid. Power has become their reality. What comes in there, there's three 20 kilowatt inverters, which gives you 60 kilowatts. Um, from there, the power comes from the inverter into the batteries. Um, the these are your grid forming inverters, so you've got a master and slave on each of these. From here, it goes through your controller, through your main box, and out into um, out into the grid. Over here, we've got our main controller. This controller um, is basically your brains behind the whole thing, and it runs the load management for each of the houses and stores or the data that happens and comes in uh, throughout everything. Um, one of the biggest challenges in a rural mini-grid um, has actually been uh, the cell phone reception. This whole thing is designed so it can be controlled remotely. For EU light, I've been e generator, and then for e fridge, I've been e gas. For opaque, I've been e flame. Okay. Parafi. Ima e kakul we si gas e bin better kakul cause when you buy and for something, patingo ko. Four hundred and something. Eh, nineteen. Patingo ko ko right because umba ni da kwa zutenga maybe at least wait two hundred and nyanga wey ansi. I am a business in Kurumuku, Mbanasi now. The washing machine was a bang of sands, but in open seven side washing machine, and then the TV was a bugella every day. This was an extensive process that saw the intersection between the many moving parts of nature and innovation to power the community in ways that not only presented better quality of lives, but also improved livelihood opportunities. 
So what the project has basically achieved is to prove that yes, renewable and clean energy off-grid is possible, is doable and can benefit communities. Eskom said that, um, you know, into the deep rural areas, it costs about two to three million rand per kilometer for a low um, a medium voltage line. Now, if you think about it, when, when, you, when you sort of left the tar road a few kilometers in, that was the sort of end of line there. And to bring a, a line up, up here, from a cost point of view, would have been quite expensive. In fact, a lot more expensive than a mini grid. But also, it would have had to come through a game reserve. If it came from the one side, it would have had to go through a natural forest if it came from, 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 from the north side. So to actually bring power lines here is, is environmentally very, very challenging. It would have, it, it, there would have been an, an environmental cost. So this really is a site for where many grids should go because it is, it is, it is, it is environmentally appropriate, it is, it is uh, uh, technically appropriate. These days, young, unemployed people of the community have created entrepreneurial opportunities for themselves, which have also revived a sense of activity for the community at large. We want to see communities moving into agricultural production. We want to see them using this energy to expand other social economic activities, access to clean drinking water, other things that were far felt from the communities in the past. This is a turning point that signifies what is possible through collaboration inspired by the urgency to not leave anybody behind as the country's economy and youth cast their eyes into the future.